إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The story of Hajj is about to end, brothers and sisters in Islam. وَإِذْ بِتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested Ibrahim alayhi salam with certain commands, with certain trials. He fulfilled each one of them. Brothers and sisters in Islam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Ibrahim did not spare himself, his own self, his own family, his own son. Once it came to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is someone who deserves to be a leader, a model for mankind, an imam for mankind. Because once you show, even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows, once you show that you're willing to sacrifice your own self, your own nafs, your own family, your own son for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then nothing, nothing will come to basically deviate you from delivering the truth that came to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mankind. And that is why prophets are tested most. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints Ibrahim alayhi salam to be the man who is the imam for all of mankind. Because he passed all the tests by the will and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made in his offspring the prophethood and the books. In his prophet, in his offspring and the children that he had, all the prophets came. That is why any prophet that comes away or out of the line, the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam, immediately we say that he's a false prophet. Ibrahim alayhi salam had two children, Ishaq, Ismail. Ismail is the older. And from the lineage of Ismail alayhi salam came the seal of all the messengers. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. But from the line of Ishaq came Jacob, came the twelve sons of Jacob, came later on Yusuf amongst the twelve sons of Jacob, Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, Prophet Ya'qub alayhi salam, Ishaq, Ya'qub, the twelve sons, amongst them Yusuf alayhi salam, then later on came Musa alayhi salam, the one who received the Torah, and then came later on Dawood, Sulaiman, Yosha, Joshua came before them, David, Solomon, Zachariah, and then Isa alayhi salam. Then the message, the book, the last book was the gospel in the line of Prophet 
uh, Ishaq alayhi salam Isaac. Then afterwards, the message was given to the line of Ismail alayhi salam, manifested in the character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And with Muhammad, the message became universal and it became for all mankind. So, from there, Ibrahim alayhi salam is to be considered the father of all the prophets and the imam for mankind. Not only this, brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him the honor of building a house for him, raising the foundation of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this was documented in the Qur'an and in the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's refer to the Qur'an quickly and then come back to it. وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلُ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ And remember when Ibrahim alayhi salam was raising the foundation of the Kaaba of the house and his son Ismail, and they were making this dua, O oh Allah, accept from us. The Prophet ﷺ explains this verse in Hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas, fi Sahih al-Bukhari, that in one of the journeys, that the journeys that Ibrahim السلام, made to Mecca from Jerusalem, he found his son Ismail sitting down and preparing an arrow for hunting, and then he came to him and he did what a father does to a son, basically giving him a hug. And then he told him, O oh Ismail, Allah has commanded me to build a house for him here in this place. And he pointed at the location of the Kaaba. Here it is. Are you going to help me, my son? Here is the beautiful response of Ismail alayhi salam, yes father, do what you are commanded to do, I will help you. You cannot imagine, brothers and sisters in Islam, the feeling of being used by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his cause on earth. This is a sign for you to know if Allah loves you or not. What are you being used for? Can you imagine being used to build the house of Allah? This is a big sign that Allah truly loves you. Brothers and sisters in Islam, here they are appreciating that beautiful favor that Allah bestowed upon them. They are executing and fulfilling that command with love. Some of the predecessors, they used to recite this verse, and cry and weep. And they say, here is Ibrahim and Ismail raising the foundation of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, building a house for Allah, a house of worship for Allah. And yet, they are still asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from them. Even, we learn later on that Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam did not only raise it as far as his hand reaches. That would have been sufficient. Rather, he asked his son to bring him a big rock where he could stand so he can make the walls higher. He wants to excel. He did not only want to fulfill, rather, he wants to excel. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called it one of the greatest signs in the house. In Indeed, the first house that was placed for mankind is the one that is in Mecca, placid and guidance for mankind. Look, fihi ayatun bayinat. In the house of Allah, you will see clear signs. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named one, Maqamu Ibrahim, the station of Ibrahim, 
where it is located near the Kaaba. And this is where we face what we face as long as it is in the direction of the Kaaba. Once we pray those two rak'ahs after our tawaf. Brothers and sisters in Islam, why it's a sign? Because Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam wanted to excel in fulfilling the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only raising it as far as his hand reaches, he wanted to reach more. And he was standing and taking the rocks from Ismail alayhi salam. And it was so heavy to the extent that his foot printed. And that is what you see, the station of Ibrahim alayhi salam. فِيهِ آيَاتٌ بَيِّنَاتٌ مَقَامُ إِبْرَاهِيمٌ The station of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this is the nature of believers that even once they do the best of deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are always concerned whether these deeds were accepted or not. And this is the feeling that you should have. Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son Ismail, they say, O oh Allah, accept from us. Here you are, almost completing the rituals of Hajj, if you are in Hajj, or you are completing the rituals of Eid. Here, if you are not in Hajj, you always need to be concerned whether Allah has accepted from you or not. And you ask Allah to accept from you, like Ibrahim and Ismail did. Because Allah will accept only from the righteous. إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Indeed, Allah will accept only the deeds of the righteous. Brothers and sisters in Islam, not only this. Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make them two Muslims to him. رَبَّنَا وَجَعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكَ Not only us. وَمِن ذُرِّيَّتِنَا And our offspring, Muslims to you. People who submit to you. Whenever there is a command that comes from you, like Ibrahim alayhi salam, nothing stands between us and fulfilling your command. Even if it is our nafs, our own selves. Even if it is your son, even if it is your daughter, even if it is your wealth, even if it is your health, whatever it is, brothers and sisters in Islam. رَبَّنَا وَجْعَلْنَا مُسْلِمَيْنِ لَكَ وَمِن ذُرِّيَّتِنَا أُمَّةً مُسْلِمَةً لَكَ وَأَرِنَا مَنَاسِكَنَا And show us our rituals. وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا And accept our repentance. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Brothers and sisters in Islam, you're about to complete the rituals of Hajj. That should be your spirit. Oh Allah, accept from me as you do that farewell, tawaf, like Ibrahim and Ismail did upon the completion of raising the foundation of the Kaaba. There is one last dua that they made. Insha'Allah, that will be the subject of the last episode of the story of Hajj. Join us tomorrow, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.